By now, most people are familiar with the basic concepts of digital audio recording and editing. But for anyone who may be new to working with a DAW, Digital Audio Workstation, this video will provide a little history and a bit of background for DAW novices. Those who are already used to working with digital audio may want to just skip ahead to the next video and jump right into Pro Tools. Otherwise, here goes. In the analog era, audio recordings were primarily made on tape. Rearranging the microscopic metal particles on a strip of recording tape preserved the shape of the audio waveform being captured. And when that physical recording needed to be edited, cuts were made with a razor blade to trim or rearrange sections of various recordings. A high-pressure operation done without a net, a skill that separated the amateurs from the studio pros. Now, in the digital era, audio is instead captured as a string of ones and zeros in a computer file. Not only can digital audio files be copied without loss of quality, but they can be edited with relative ease in what's referred to as nonlinear editing. Rather than having to make permanent edits with a razor blade, editing can be done non-destructively by cutting, trimming, and moving around a virtual display of the audio wave against a timeline. In Pro Tools, naturally, this is done in the edit window. The audio is shown in the DAW as waves in audio regions, or clips. But these are only references to the original audio files, which are separate files on the hard disk. These clips can be edited, and the results heard, without any changes actually being made to the original files. The edited versions exist only within the DAW session file. That's non-destructive editing, and that's what's done in every DAW, including Pro Tools. Only when the audio editing is done, and the various recorded and edited tracks are mixed, is a new file created, the final stereo master audio file. This kind of non-destructive editing, naturally, has opened up a whole host of possibilities well beyond what could be done with tape, and people who've come up in the digital era probably take these capabilities for granted. But working with digital audio in a DAW brings its own issues and concerns. There's a dependent relationship between the session file, where the editing and mixing is done, and the actual recorded audio files, which are all separate files on one of the host computer's hard disks, one for each track or take. While the various audio clips that make up a session can be edited non-destructively, if the original audio files were to go missing, the audio waves would disappear from those clips, and the session would be useless. So it's important to keep all the actual audio files that make up a particular session together with the session file itself. The course will show Pro Tools' specific approach to this, as well as covering the relevant aspects of setting up and recording audio, and, of course, all the tools and techniques on tap for non-destructive audio editing. So with this brief bit of background out of the way, let's move on to Pro Tools, starting with an overview of the main edit window where all the recording and editing tasks are carried out.